Welcome back to the Aviatrix Demo Day video series. This is episode six, and in this episode, we're going to build a connection from the EUS-1 transit to on-premise. Now take note of my IP schema. 10.51.64.0.20 is the data center. 10.109.00.16 is EUS-1. 10.176.00.16 is EUS-2. 10.190.00.16 is West US-2 and you guys can read the rest of this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to build this connection and then test the connectivity across transits and across regions. Let's get started. Connecting your Aviatrix multi-cloud network to on-premise is really easy. All you have to do is go to the multi-cloud transit section, click on setup, scroll down to step number three, and then we provide many options to connect to on-prem, whether that's through a VPN, IPsec, GRE, natively, direct connect, express route, we support it all. In this case, we'll select external device, we'll run BGP on top of this VPN, select the transit where you want it terminated, give that VPN a unique name, assign a BGP ASN if you haven't done so already to your transit, and then you can select the different algorithms. We support many. I already know what my on-premise router supports and is waiting for, so I'm gonna select those. SHA-1, DH Group 2, the encryption, the phase two authentication, etc. All customizable. You can enable HA if there's multiple gateways on-prem or routers on-prem. You can run this over the internet or over Direct Connect. Specify your remote AS specify the remote gateway IP, give it a pre-shared key or let it generate one and then you can let everything else stay default and just hit OK and connect. All done. The VPN is created and ready to go. Now you can actually get the details of this VPN by going to Site to Cloud Setup section, click on the VPN, click on Edit, and then you can see here the tunnel status is down right now because I haven't configured the other side, but you can download the configuration to give to your on-premise engineer so that they can configure your firewall, your router, whatever it is towards Aviatrix Transit. Here's all the information they need. We generate that config for you. You just give it to that individual. All done. Now, this VPN is already up because I configured the other side of it. I can go edit and I can see that my active, active setup is up and up ready to go. All the routing is done for you. Now we can validate the routing through advanced config section. Click on diagnostics. Select the gateway that's terminating your VPN and your BGP and you can run all the BGP commands you're used to running and get these, the, these details. All the BGP routes. But what was selected? Why was it selected? What's the AS path, the metric, the weight, the local prep, all that stuff. Let's make sure that we're learning routes from on-prem. This is my on-prem router. Yep, I'm learning all those routes in the cloud on-prem and we retain all the AS pathing and everything for you. Let's check the connectivity now. We're going to run connectivity tests from on-premise to the cloud. This is going to the EU West, the EU2, I'm sorry. There we go, low latency because it's within Europe. But now let's go across to Azure, which is in the US. Look at that latency, it's higher because we're going to the US from Europe. To look at the diagram, what we're doing is we have a router here and I'm testing connectivity up to this transit and across an AVH encrypted transit connection directly to West US 2 in Azure. That's why that latency was higher. It has to go across continents to get that connectivity to be established. Remember, there's a full mesh here. It's not a series of connections like this. It's a full mesh. And so you're always one hop away from another transit in the Aviatrix multi-cloud network. As simple as that. And that's it for this episode. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode where we build out segmentation. Thank you for watching.